Okay. Well, let's go with some health here. We do need damage though, but like honestly, my inability to avoid hits is maybe screwing me over kind of bad here. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, Bloodbath does more damage. The reason why I like the whip is it's faster and it's got uh, more reach. I just got to get used to rolling underneath those arrows. I'm just so used to jumping over attacks uh, from Hollow Knight that it's messing with my head. Like in the music, it's... Honestly, it's pretty non-offensive, but that's okay. Okay, what do we got here? Got an upgrade scroll. I wonder if um, dodging actually gives us uh, temp invincibility. That could be kind of handy. It also looks like uh, pumping points pure into um, damage like really increases how much how much you can hurt enemies. Okay, so we get this. Yeah, bloodbath just causes bleeding, but it does look like it's fast. I don't know. Looks fast enough. Bleeding effects will be nice. Wish there was like almost a heavy light attack system. Okay, so none of these are particularly useful. Jump attacks, burn enemies, ice bomb. I mean, they're nice. Really? Took falling damage from that? Alright, let's get some more damage. We we really need to be able to... I mean, if I could one-shot things, that'd be nice. Maybe maybe I should actually go with the opposite uh, strategy here. Hello. Hey, Frost Blast. Okay, so we're gonna... There we go. I wonder if I can freeze enemies through their shields. Seems actually pretty useful. Okay, maybe I will use Frost Blast a little bit more than I have been. It looks like this dungeon gets uh, deeper. I'm noticing, like, this entry area gets longer every single time I go through. Which is confusing. Oh. We have the electric whip, I just, I don't know how to get to it. Okay, so we have skills. If I do select, it's map, it doesn't look like I can do anything. Okay, I was, oh, hello. He's dead. And that's recent. Oh, interesting. All right, so we got a blueprint for a broadsword, and we also get a ruby. So anyway, he did. Let's go back. Unfortunately, oh, we do have a portal here. Good. I missed the I missed the portal. Okay, so we want to go up here, go for the treasure, and get some other things. But yeah, so we've uh, we've got some new bits. Oh, hey, you there? Hit me. What the. F You've outraged the gods. Take one little hit, and you're dead. Eliminate ten enemies to lift the curse. Okay, so malachite, a stun grenade, amethyst, and a shining, shiny stone. Okay, so I gotta kill ten enemies without getting hit. Another cursed treasure. Does it make it worse? Okay, it made it worse. Yeah, let's go Frost Blast, for better or worse. Okay. So 20 enemies without taking a hit. Can I do it? So there's, there's something. There's something with this that unlocks a special secret area. But I have no idea where it is. Well, uh, let's see. So we got a portal here. All right, so let's teleport down here. Oh, it even shows you where, like, relevant loot is on the map. Useful. Okay. 
In before he faces an elite immediately. Oh, that would be bad. Luckily, we don't have to. Okay. So we now have broadsword. Right, I can just hold it in. At least we get some amount for that. I wonder if I can actually backtrack here. Let's let's try that. Let's see if I can actually go in and out here. Like, can I return? Because if I can return, then I'm going to start faring my cells back. The answer is no, so we probably get to see him after every level. Okay, so there's one. Gonna just cheese my way past half of this. Oh, shit. Okay, we get a sturdy shield. That's not that useful. Okay. Got him. Okay, so we've got an elite undead archer. Ah, shit! We didn't climb it fast enough. Yeah, watch out for the priest wizard. Okay, so I'm gonna stay away from the cursed chest, and we almost had that, but we didn't. Ah, whatever. <sighs> I just wish I could carry my... Sk I, like, I wish we got less... Uh... Um, I wish we got less cells overall, but we got to keep them, uh, keep them for as long as we want. Okay, let's go strength. Yeah, that, uh, going immediately into strength is probably a better idea. Oh, I'm bad at this game. It'd be nice if we could get, uh, like a blueprint for a permanent upgrade. Like if we could, uh, start rogue legacying it so we start getting, uh, nice little bonuses. I mean, part of it is we are learning, or I am learning slowly. So I guess that's helpful. I don't know. No secrets there. Cannot open this from here. And we get, we're getting all sorts of like stat, what? Uh oh. Fuck. No! Well, that broke. Um, I think I might have to pull up Task Manager to get him out of it. Well, that's a bug. I mean, luckily it happened right in the beginning of a run, so it doesn't really matter too much. Let's see, what kind of combat is in the game? Are there heavy attacks and downward thrusts? No, but there's different types of weapons. Uh, so there will be... Uh-oh. There will be, like, uh, heavier weapons than you can get. I've mostly just found, like, light, fast attacking weapons and stuff like that. Okay. At least things are going okay. Sort of. Well, at least we get to keep our gold. Okay, so it just resets us. If the if the game crashes, if if it doesn't record us dying, then we know the answer. Okay. Let's grab this. I'm just going to go pure damage. I think I will stay away from the whip in the future uh for this run. I know I have the tendency of using it, overusing it, probably. Okay, so we know this one's not the same as the last. But uh, the whip doesn't have the AoE, which now I'm kind of realizing is rather important. Okay. We've got... I really wish there was a faster way... Eh, this might actually be the same run. Now that I'm thinking about it, yeah, it's the same run. Interesting. Okay. Interesting bug. So I can re reproduce it. So there's something about this one here. Um, that's... Uh, that's no good. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to, uh... I guess I'm just gonna have to nix this one. Try again. 
Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, it'd be really nice if you could be like, please don't give me that run again. Um, I just, I had to see if that one was re reproducible or not up until later. Let's see. And we're good. Okay. Unfortunately, I think New Game just wipes it all. Uh, that's okay. At least, um... At least, uh, Alt f 4 just restarts the run? I don't know if that's really necessarily a big, big deal, though. Like, the extra money is nice, but it barely makes... Barely makes a difference, because we don't have enough stuff unlocked to actually really justify it right now. And yeah, the devs should be notified. Luckily, I am in contact with them. They actually... So... I sent the developers a, uh, a message. Ow. I sent the dev developers a message like two months ago, um, uh, asking for a copy of this game, no, thinking it was going to be out, you know, earlier, like April or like early May. I guess I guess it is coming out in early May and stuff like that. Um, but uh, so I, I sent the developers a message. Okay, so we're not picking that up. Um. And they're like, uh, go here to get a key, after sending me a key through, through the, uh, place that they were telling me to go, go to. And so they, uh, oh, wait, is this loot? No, the, that's giblets. Okay. Um, so I, I already had a key for the game. I'd already played it a little bit, but not enough, you know, to actually get, like, much of a feel for it. And then now I'm getting emails from, like, a different PR company that they must have, uh, signed on specifically. Uh, and... The, God damn it! I keep doing it. Uh, the the PR company is like, by the way, like, um, uh, by the way, do you want a copy of this game? And I'm just like, eh, I already have it. All right, so I said I wasn't gonna use the whip, but I'm gonna use it until we find something better. Uh oh, oh, this is the secret, dude. It doesn't look like holding a direction changes anything. Okay, well that's fine. And just don't touch that secret. That's the plan. Could always just get killed early on, that would solve the problem. Yeah, so there's the weird slime thing, and then there's the, uh... There's the weird slime thing, and then there's... There's the two things that you rub. I don't know what to do about those. Hello! Blueprint for a horizontal turret. Ooh. Okay. Some... That's interesting. Some jackass had decided to show up to my stream and be like, I'm gonna be streaming Black Mesa. Come watch it if you want. Or not, I don't care. And it's like, yeah, you do. <laughs> I intercepted that guy with a with a grenade. Ooh, kunai. Kunai. Yeah, kunai would be good. It's uh against like a boss. It's what? He's not dead? You wouldn't be the headless guy now, would you? Dot dot dot. What? Cat got your tongue? Okay. Same thing? Huh. I don't know why the dialogue's looping. Okay, well, we got the merchant. Okay, so we can get Bloodbath 2, Twin Daggers 2. Oh! Throws a grenade. Fires an arrow upward. Worms crawl from your victims. Gross. Throws a grenade. So, Twin Daggers might be a good idea. I'm leaning for Bloodbath, though. I could get both. Let's get the Twin Daggers. I haven't given them enough love, I think. Also, the idea of chucking a grenade as part of my... my attack combo is hilarious. It's not constant, but it's... frequently. Maybe that guy forgets when he dies. Yeah, maybe? Unfortunately, we haven't gotten any cell, uh, as many cells, but that's okay. Alright, so let's get that. Broadsword deals massive damage, increases the damage bonus. Yeah, so unfortunately, a lot of these are kind of... Uh, oh! Oh, Broadsword! Uh, Broadsword 3 deals massive damage. Enemies hit... Explode on death. Alright, uh... Let's get instead of the throwing knives. The throwing knives are... Oh, I hurt myself there. Maybe? Note to self. Grenades, maybe not a not a good idea. Maybe not. Hard to say. I'm curious about the broadsword. It looks awesome. Just gotta... 
be in a position to use it. Okay, well, we've got our... Oh, right, I totally forgot we had the Healy thing. Okay. I really wish you could do air attacks, like up, down, whatever. Okay, we do have... An elite. Okay. Come on! He just three-shot me. Well, then again, uh, using that broadsword is kind of moot. Until we can get something that actually works, maybe? Ah. Well. Okay. At least we've gotten out of that broken version, so that kind of helps. Yeah, the problem is... We need- we should probably invest in a little bit of health here. I'm just... It's so detrimental. It's just against those guys, too. But, like, I was trying to roll towards him so I could, like, start comboing him. And he just would jump backwards every single time. And unfortunately, there's no other way to avoid him. Yeah, they might need to nerf the elites a bit. Yeah, maybe. Found an infantry blow, uh, bow blueprint. We're getting a lot of blueprints now, which is kind of nice. Okay, greed shield heals you when you parry once per enemy. Ooh. Okay, I gotta, I gotta try parrying. All of a sudden, I should also pay more attention. Oh. Okay, so we got a couple of things. So I got a gold tooth, worth 20 gold, and I got a blueprint for the wall. So yeah, I can I can parry enemies. Well, I guess I'll pick up the broad sword. Come on. Okay. Ooh, frost blast. Oh wait, no, that's that's the secret secret area. Okay, let's go down. Because we probably want to go this way. For progress. I like I like the idea of the broadsword. I guess The main strength of the broadsword is its AoE. It's just super slow. It'd just be so nice if you could do, like, reactionary attacks and stuff like that. Okay, well, we're not dying. Oh, we did go the wrong direction. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's see. Uh, let's get some more damage. But yeah, being able to do, like, uh, air combos is kind of super important to me. And I hope they, uh, I hope they add that kind of combat. Because, like, it's nice being able to do a ground stomp, but I'd almost want that to be, like, an actual, like, a special attack that you unlock or something like that. Anyway. Okay, let's get both of these, and hopefully we won't shimmy sham. Let's see. Any idea how much this game's gonna cost? I think it's gonna be ten? Maybe? It's ten or fifteen, I think. You can check on their website. I think, they, I think they've got that info there. I, unfortunately, have not actually bothered to look. Which I probably should have, because, you know, research is important. I'm just a lazy person. Okay, so we still don't have any skills here. Hopefully I can pick up one. Ah, damn it. Well, at least, at least we got a portal. Yeah, so there's Frost Blast and Sturdy Shield. But we still haven't figured out how to how to get in through there. Uh, let's see, what's my left bumper skill? That's uh, That's a healing potion. It's effectively Estus. I should probably actually start putting points in so I can, um... Uh, I should probably start putting points in so I can use it repeatedly. Well, let's unlock that. And I'll start putting points into, uh... Oh, here we go. Horizontal turret 3. Rapid fires on nearby enemies inflicting 77 damage per second. Enemies explode on death. Yeah, so we might just be able to use that. 
The one thing I am I'm noticing is kind of an unfortunate uh an unfortunate situation of this game is there's only a a small variety of enemies, at least in the the first couple levels, and I hope they scale that up uh a bunch. Cause I think it's gonna need uh, a greater variety for the amount of times I'm dying here just to try and get through all of this. Hey, that's the first time I've gotten through a timed door. Okay, so it's just money. That's not actually super useful. Yeah, I'm thinking if I use my, um, I might be able to use my, like, uh, my summonable turret. As like a, okay. So it doesn't do as much damage as I'd like. Okay, it also can take damage. So that's that's another useful thing. I mean, honestly. Honestly, I'm probably just going to stay away from uh enemies to some degree. But I I am really digging it as a as a thing. Like it, it effectively is a guaranteed stun lock letting me get near. Oh, I wonder if I can Okay. So I can't I can't parry projectiles back, but I can block them. Assuming I've got the time. Okay. Got to watch out for laser man and chuck the turret down. What was that? Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess this is a good time for healing. Okay. Let's just go back. Yeah, so the archers can respond. They can fight back. Oh. That's nothing. I, I still don't know how the rub works. Okay, right. Those guys can be blocked. Grab his gold tooth. It ain't worth much. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Ooh, hello. Ooh. Strength scroll. Oh. That's maybe bad time. There we go. Okay. Other nice thing about the turret is it blocks hits for me. Still not going to be useful against an elite enemy. I'm not even going to bother. Let's see, rub it to see if my potion bar refills. Okay. There we go. Oh. Freaking this guy. I really hate this guy. At least he doesn't do much damage. He's mostly just a nuisance more than anything else. Okay, so we do enough damage, I should probably start putting remaining points in health. Or skills. Some bonus damage on my, uh, some bonus damage on my turret could be kind of super useful. Ow. Stupid jerk wad. Ow. Holy shit. That, these guys, the green guys hurt. I like dodged them poorly for a sec, so that's what hits me. Oh, that's also super useful. Uh oh. Ah. Ah. I'm trying, man. We yeah, we definitely need the um eh, let's go shield. Uh 
I'm we definitely need the uh, the health thing if I can get that some bonus health would be nice but if I can heal myself repeatedly that's probably gonna be the more useful one okay there we go got him a little bit oh interesting is it the same shield image for every shield well, that's kind of unfortunate hopefully they uh, change that around I guess we probably don't need that too much. <sighs> I was hoping that I could uh, get the jump on him. Yeah, see, these, these guys don't do that much damage. I wonder if I'm, like, going the wrong direction. No, there's usually only one entrance. It'd be really nice if they could friendly fire themselves or something. I just roll through them. Not always the easiest. Okay. Like, sometimes you think you got a lot more time than you do. Okay, so there's the rub thing yet, but... Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, unless I'm supposed to rub it slowly and or, like, sensually, I'm, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. Okay. A little bit more. We get the shop. Uh, I could do Freeze Blast. The only problem is Freeze Blast takes a while. Uh, let's see. Stuns for three seconds. I'm gonna buy the stun bomb. Jump attacks burn enemies. Ah. Come on. Okay. Oh, right. We don't have the greed tooth. I was wondering about it for a second. I was like, where'd that. Where's the tooth? Then I realized there is no tooth. Eh. The kunai is nice, but. It doesn't really change too much. I, I guess... I guess it's okay. It'd be nice if I could, like... If I could run forward. <gasps> yes! Turret! And Bloodbath. Okay. Well, I just... I guess I just destroyed that guy. Oh. I really hate their their dodge backwards. It's so annoying. You get close to them and it's just like, bye. Oh. Oh no. Is my turret? My turret is inaccessible. Cause yeah, we can't. Damn it, that sucks. I really wanted to get get the turret. Okay, so we get Ice Bomb. So we've got two stuns, and we're getting a lot of damage ups. Uh... I should probably... Stop... <sighs> okay... Trying to think of. Okay. This is kind of a small nightmare. Unfortunately, my attacks take a long time to charge up. Eh, that's okay. All right, let's um, let's put some points into skills. Damage in their cooldown timer. Okay, and let's go this direction. I have no idea which direction is correct. At least it's not cursed chest this time around. Grenade two would be nice, but no dice. Want them to basically kill their friends. Well, it'd be nice if you could parry like a, an enemy bomb back. And oh, right, we should probably actually grab the gold here. Um, but uh. Like, if I could parry a bomb back at an enemy... Oh yeah, he's dead again. Weird. Oh, he's rotting even more this time around. I think? I'm not entirely sure, but if you could parry the bomb back and it would, uh... It would, like... Bop in... Uh, it would blow up on, on their friends and so on and so forth. That'd be nice. Okay, so the wall triggers a force field when you parry. 
infantry bow, and... What about the bow with the infinite ammo? Huh, that's weird. Yeah, like I know I can parry the bombs, it just doesn't hurt them. And I, I feel like I should be able to parry it back and, uh... And, you know, it hurts them and their allies and so on and so forth. Let's see. Uh, I'd we'll be able to make it today. Unfortunately, I feel like my drop rates have not gotten better. Really? Freaking. These guys suck. Okay, I gotta watch out for the runes. There we go. I guess I just gotta instantly assume they've got uh, they've got an attack coming. That's weird. That was really weird looking. Ah. Okay, what do we get? Rare blueprint, bow and infinite ammo. It's not super helpful. What is with the uh, the dungeon here and these like kind of inaccessible chambers that are nearby? Uh, it doesn't matter that much. I, I wonder if the area complexity, like if it gets deeper. Oh. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay, I'm a heal. Let's see what we can do. Well, I guess I'll just be a dick. Nope. Not gonna be a dick. Ah, I tried rolling behind him. Unfortunately, you can't chain roll. <sighs> oh, I don't think you can keep blueprints when you die before you meet the collector. Oh, uh, okay. That's brutal. I just have a hand about him. That's rough. It makes sense, too. I didn't even think about that. Though, I've gotten the broadsword in the... No... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I... Yeah. Wait, I died right before the collector? You sure? I more or less just got... got there. Oh, cool. Okay, so if you break the door near, near enemies, uh, they will get stunned. I gotta pay attention and see if there's more of those, um... I've got to see if there's more of those, like, uh, secret wall runes to deal with. Or, like, if you, if you bust up the secret wall runes... What was... what? Did he? He teleported. Huh. Oh, he didn't. Okay. These were getting a lot of damage. Okay, no. I didn't die right before the collector. Uh, you just... I'm not sure sure if I get the blueprints. Okay. Well, there's the rare blueprint, bow and infinite arrows. So I guess the game is taking pity on me. Okay. Let's get a little bit of health here. And we get ice bomb. What else do we get? Oh. Damage reduced by 15%. Hell yeah! I can reduce the damage I take. That That's handy. Okay, let's go through here. Okay, bear trap. Could be useful against elite, uh, elites-ish? Hard to say. Okay, so this is him. Let's go back to the portal. There's, there's more stuff to do here. Okay. 
including this stupid secret door thing that I still haven't figured out. Well, there's one. Yeah, let me know if you guys see any pop up. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any on the walls. Oh, there's one. We get a carrot. So they're a little bit uh, harder to spot than I took them for. Yeah, I don't see any there. Anything on this side? The answer is no. I mean, the other thing I could do uh, in the meantime... Oh. Everything is for sale. No. The other thing I could do is just simply attack every single wall I come by. Well, at least redoing this first level over and over the over again is getting me some amount of, like, little basic bonuses. Okay. So we do have the... So here's the bow and infinite arrows. Unlimited ammo. Oh, so that means... Oh, but it's a bow. That's a little bit less useful. Okay, don't need that now. Right, because we're fine. Um... What was I gonna say? Yeah, we don't really want the bow because it still has, a, like, a charge up time and stuff like that. Stuff like the kunai is infinitely more useful because it's not risky for me to use it. Okay, well, I'm getting faster. I'm just still not get getting much better. Okay. Okay, so how do we... I guess I can get across with a double jump there. Okay, well that's handy. I think one thing that I would actually be super down for with this game is if, um... Nope. Scratch that, not fighting in a... Not an elite here. Um, it'd actually be super neat. Uh, jeez. Do I... Do I dare? It's effectively a giant death trap. Okay. Lucrative death trap though, but death trap nonetheless. Still death trap. Okay. Make him come to you. Unfortunately, aerial strikes, not this game's strong point. <sighs> see, that's part of the problem. Uh, let's see, kinda wish you'd keep something if you died. Sort of? I- I we- I wish... maybe? Okay, so we're out of healing already. That was rough. I think I'm just gonna bull rush this side. I wonder if this is... Intentionally made hard. Ow. Like, I wonder if this is intentionally harder... ...than, um... ...than it... ...it is in the final version. Uh, specifically so you're kept... ...in this, like, uh... ...this demo stage. For longer. Door was locked a minute ago. Eh. Uh. So it's about four minutes. Okay. Okay, well, I'm getting a bit better at rolling and stuff like that. Let's see. Does flask scale with HP? I think it does. Oh. Well, I had had him. What? I think I popped off of his shield. Weird. Okay. Let's get some more HP. I do enough damage at this point. We just need survivability. Just gonna go over that guy. Easier when you can just gr grenade him in the face. 
and stun him with jump attacks and stuff like that. Okay, as long as a, an elite doesn't show up in my way here, and I think I just jinxed it, we're okay. Ah. <sighs> Okay, there we go. Horizontal turret. Okay, let's get rid of the bear trap. Okay. I love cheesing these guys. We need a new weapon here. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten one in a while. Okay, what do we got down here? I'm trying to down stomp. I ain't taken. Where are we? Oh, shopkeep. Sort of. We get Ice Bomb 3 and Sapphire Talisman. Well, Sapphire Talisman is useless. Let's get the Ice Bomb 3. Freeze enemies. Damage. Just does more damage. And worms crawl from my victim, which I'm not entirely sure if that's exactly what I call wholesome, but still. Yeah, the plunging attacks look so uh, satisfying. Dude, they are. They're probably one of my favorite things about this game. Uh, plunging on enemies is crazy fun. I feel like it's lagging here a bit. Still nothing from this thing. I feel like we might be in a new area. Oh. Okay, and there's a bat there. Luckily, my horizontal turret solves the day. Or saves the day. There we go. Just, I want some HP here. I mean, at least picking the HP upgrades is seemingly helping us on our quest. Noticing also these, like, little... Oh, merchant. These, like, mini dungeons are actually helping us a bunch, too. Well, I could get a damage upgrade. If I had the money. I might come back. Because the more damage upgrades I can pick up, the better. But yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I, was, I was gonna try and say this earlier. Uh, I actually really wish... Uh, like... Health, for example, would actually come back... Or, not health, um... Uh, like you could recharge your, your healing flask by killing a certain number of enemies. Uh... Like... I know Dark Souls does it, and it feels really good. Realizing I'm not checking these here. Oh well. We probably don't have a whole lot. Um, but like... Say if you kill like, uh, 50 enemies or something like that, you get a charge. That'd be nice. We might have actually, uh... We've... We might have actually made it through. Please don't have a boss at the end of this. Let me visit the Collector. Okay, Bridge of the Condemned. I have no idea. Okay, cool. So we, we found the Collector. I'ma pump all my bits into him. Uh, let's heal ourselves up. Yeah, once, once we have uh, more flask charges, life is probably going to get a lot easier. So Bridge of the Condemned. Alright, looks like we're good. Let's see if we have some new enemy types, or if it's the same, or... It's this guy. The incomplete one. Okay. Now he's invulnerable. Oh, he's got a damage aura. Well, that's frustrating. Okay. Oh, that hurt a bit. I guess I'll just freeze him or not. Well, now he's invulnerable. Okay. Freeze him a bunch. Toss another turret there. Apparently turrets, ow. 
turrets run out of stamina after a certain point, looks like. Or, ow. Okay. Ah. That, that's such a cheap move. Just like a, an arena wide. You know, I just realized. We've got that. Oh, the, um. Okay. There we go. Got him. At what? Okay, let's heal. Okay. This guy is kind of a jerk. He's got so much HP. It doesn't help that we haven't found a single weapon upgrade this entire fight. Or this entire run. Oh, come on! Okay. The damage aura nonsense is not okay! Uh, we're at 2 HP. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I can block that. Let's just do this. Ah! Let's just toss this over. No! I rolled the wrong, wrong way! Ah! Fucking... God damn it. Yeah, we still had a... Goddamn Blood Blade level 1 there. Ah, uh, maybe I should have bought it from the shop or something like that. So we were only doing 80 damage to him. I thought we were okay, but... No, we were not. We can get him. Probably one more try. Like, his process isn't terrible. He's just kind of a jerk. He's... Uh... Un like the invincibility shield I can deal with and the damage aura would be nice if he if it was easier to get around him 